chimney shield is made from 26 gauge sheet metal. It is pre-cut and pre-bent. The chimney shield is adjustable to all sizes of chimneys. The only cutting as of now is for small chimneys. The chimney shield will fit chimneys from 18 inches by 20 inches to chimneys 39 inches by 44 inches. To do a chimney under 18 inches by 20 inches, you need to cut down until a smaller size is made. But to cut it down, all you need is a pair of tin snips. All ends are pre-bent. To do a larger chimney than 39 inches by 44 inches, you need to buy an extension kit. You can add extension kits and do any size of chimneys you come across. Again, all ends are pre-bent. The chimney shield is made up of 12 pieces with three different types of parts. There are four corner pieces, four side pieces, and four bumper pieces. The chimney shield is made to attach to existing framing around the chimney or a chimney with no framing. A chimney with no framing requires a different installation guideline. All bends are at two inches to maintain two inches of free air space around the chimney required by codes. For assembly, you need some half inch and one inch sheet metal screws. For sealing against the brick or block, you need a tube of fire block caulk. On the exterior, for sealing, you can either use single or two part foam or caulking. To get started installing your chimney shield, pick a corner piece, place on top of the wood framing, and butt the bottom of the shield into the brick chimney. Make sure the corner goes by the corner of the chimney two inches. You also can use a side piece to gauge this. Now, making sure the sheet metal is butted into the brick, put one screw through the bottom of the shield into the wood. Be sure to place the screw far enough away from where the opposite corner piece will lap. Next, take a side piece, butt into the corner piece, butt into the brick, and put a screw through the shield into the wood. Now you will have one corner and one side piece attached. The bottom of each will be butted into the brick while the top will be leaning away from the chimney. This is okay. Now go to the opposite corner and do the same procedure. Set the corner piece first, then the side. What you will find is when you set the side pieces, it will just lap over the installed side piece. If your chimney shield is longer than the combination of the two pieces, then you will need to add the extension kit. From here, now you are going to continue this around the chimney, just tacking all the pieces in place. When you have them all tacked in place, the bottoms will be tight at the bottom and the tops will be leaning away from the brick. Now you want to work your way around, screwing the bottom of the shield into the framing about every four or five inches. This will keep the sheet metal all down flat and tight. The next step is to use your fire block caulk to seal the gap between the sheet metal and the brick. Since the top is leaning out, and it's just flat sheet metal, this is easy to do. Next, using half inch sheet metal screws, screw all the corners in any places where the sheet metal laps over each other. At the laps, this is where the bumper pieces would be used. Just simply slide them in at each lap point. The final step is to seal the bottom of the outside junction of the chimney shield where the metal and wood meet with caulk, one part foam or two part foam. Take care to ensure that no air leakage will be able to happen there.